All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Nature Aquariums TV. And today we're super excited to show you a brand new product from UNS. It is all about reef keeping today. But before we get with our video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. We just unloaded this off the truck. It is the brand new UNS 150 centimeter, which is five foot reefing system. And it's their new lineup. It's gonna be made of the 60 centimeter, which is two foot, the 90 centimeter, which is three foot, the 120 centimeter, which is four foot. And this is the 150, this is their flagship tank. It is a five foot beast of a tank, guys. There's so many cool things to show you about this. I can hardly wait. Now, what I'm gonna to try to do is show you how I'm going to set it up. I left all the packaging intact other than us removing all the styrofoam and the boxes and all that cool stuff so it doesn't get in the way of the video. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up. But first, I wanna point out some really cool features that really stood out for me. One is that they use their proprietary 45 degree angled cut so all the edges, all the corners are miter cuts. There are not uh, lap joints. And so therefore there is no silicone that's sticking out. You can take your scraper all the way to the edge. I can take my fingernail to here and I'm not lifting up any silicone. Two, they know that we like, and the hobby, I don't, but there's a lot of guys and gals out there who love bare bottom tanks. And most of the time you have these ugly reflections what did they do? They painted the bottom of the tank in white. So now you're getting a beautiful tank that if you do bare bottom, you're just gonna have a white bottom and you can keep it bare bottom, super easy, but it's gonna look great. You won't see the guts of the tank. Three, the back overflow chamber. This is actual glass. It is black tinted glass. And you say, well, why do they do it in glass? Well, glad you asked. It's because if you have GSP, you have anything and you want to scrape it off, you will not be gouging any plastic. Plus, it's a lot easier scraping off uh, GSP or corals uh, off glass than it is off plastic. So it really allows you to work on that. Thirdly, because it is glass, if you want to silicone any shelving for your frag tanks or anything else for your corals, you can actually silicone to glass, whereas you cannot silicone to plastic. This is the cool stuff from the top side of the tank. It is made with all low iron glass, their ultra clarity glass that we've known UNS to do. The back plane is already in black, so you don't have to add any backgrounds or anything else. It all really works very, very nice. The biggest thing, because this is glass as well, the center overflow and the black background, since they're both glass, it just looks great. It doesn't look like one is sticking out from the other. Moving down to the bottom, you have your choice right now of gray or white in the tanks. This is an all aluminum powder coated frame, but this is where it gets really interesting. These are magnetically removable panels. So this allows you to have full access to your tank without having the doors get in the way. Look at this guys. Beautiful powder coated finish. It comes with adjustable feet so you can level the tank. One of the cool things that I uh, realized when I was setting this up is the fact that the compression lining to level the tank on the top is actually attached to the frame. So, and it's got a non-stick surface on the top. So sliding the tank over it was super easy. You didn't you know, bust your knuckles in trying to get this on top of the uh, frame. So it was really well done, fully powder coated. And we start down at the bottom with the sump. The sump is all glass. It is a smoke color, but more importantly, one of the things that they did, anybody who's had an acrylic sump has a fair share of cuts right along their arms as they reach in because of the sharp edges. All of the edges here are beveled and sanded. So even as you go here to this edge, it is completely rounded off. So if you scrape this by accident, you're not gonna get a nasty cut and then you're gonna get the salt creep into your arm. And you know, obviously it's gonna burn. So they did a really nice job. 
All the edges are completely all rounded. Uh, this already comes pre-installed and secured and it fits actually the full width front to back of the frame which is really nice because it maximizes the room and the amount of gallons. Obviously you get a little bit of everything. You're also going to get a drawer on the side to put in your accessories. You get a large chamber over here that you can fit a cooler or you can fit additional components. You also get cable management in the back and back here, cable management, which allows you to connect your power supplies, keep them dry and away from salt creep. It allows you to mount your apex controller, your hydros controller, everything away from the salt creep and be able to look at it with the side panel. We also have beautiful window over here that is fully removable by the screws over here. So it allows you to, if you have a chiller, if you have any components that you want to look at, or if you need ventilation, you can access that. Into the sump, very thick cast cell plastic to cover the spillway of the return from the sump. In the back, the water goes in. Everything has silicone gaskets to prevent salt creep from coming out. And you can actually remove the whole bulkhead apparatus just by loosening these screws and you can lift it. The other cool thing that they did, they gave you a molded spillway so it directs the water flow where you want it to and it'll go either over the sock filters or over a uh, your floss mat or more importantly they're coming up with their own uh, roller mat system. So this can be used three different ways without an issue and you can customize it to your needs. Moving on to the main chamber, this is used for all your equipment, your heaters, protein skimmers, media reactors, they all fit in. This is a very generous size and it allows you to adjust the water flow as easily by just loosening the, the screws and raising or lowering the baffle. Moving in to the refugium chamber, you can direct the flow either at the bottom or at the top these are interchangeable. And then into the uh, turn pump chamber, this is where the float valve for your auto top off is. Now, one of the things that they really paid attention to is the fact that the tubing for your dosing system, it's made actually of silicone. And what makes it so important is that silicone is flexible. One of the biggest critiques on a lot of these sumps is that they use rigid PVC tubing. And once it gets caked up, or filled with um, alkalinity, your calcium, it's very hard to clean. Whereas the silicone, you can just remove it, put it in hot water, squish it around, and it all comes clean. So they really thought about these things. It also has uh, grooves for your probe holders, and it also has cable management once again, and it comes with full lid so that you can actually keep as much of the salt creep out of your system. So we have all of the plumbing that's already pre-cut pre-glued and preset with the UNS system. So what I want to do is show you how to set it up and put it in. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut open all the packaging silicone gaskets, which are more expensive, but they're actually compressed a lot better instead of the vinyl ones that are commonly used. Also, these are all quarter turn valves. And this is from one of the, uh, of the manifolds. They actually give us a spare T that if you want to hook it up to a chiller, to a manifold, you want to create your own custom plumbing, you don't have to cut any of their piping. This is already there with a the barb fitting and you leave it always closed. If you want to activate it, just open it up. I need to show you something that is very unique and this will help you understand how to put it all together. So you see your return over here? It's actually held by these. They're not screwed in or glued in. Before you hook up your tubing from the bottom, the way this is designed, there's three holes that you'll see at the bottom. The first one over here to the left, this is your return, where the return goes out over here. It splits into the T and it gives you, this is from your return pump. This over here is your emergency vent and overflow. 
and then this is your primary drain. The primary drain is the one inch drain. These are three and a quarter, and this is what catches the majority of the water. With this, it just catches the spillway on the top. So in case this gets to clog, you have an emergency drain and it'll go. So you get actually two drains for one return. The way this works over here, I'm gonna take these out so you guys can see. These silicone gaskets are gonna press against the glass at the bottom with the holes. And so it's important that before you install, clean this well. Make sure you have no dirt. Make sure your silicone O-rings are in place, that you're nice and clean inside there. So now when you put this in, it goes like this. It follows the shape of the overflow. And as you put in the bulkhead and you screw it in against it, it's gonna make compression between here and the glass and make this watertight. What's also nice, if you ever do need to do maintenance, because it's not glued in. It's a much more elegant design so that all you would do is unscrew the bulkheads from underneath and then you can lift up the whole unit and actually perform maintenance in here. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put in these, which this actually, the returns tightens everything up until I get my bulkheads underneath the tank nice and tight. Then I'm gonna go in and actually adjust and put these in. This way it gives me a little bit of play in putting in the bulkheads through the bottom. This one over here is the emergency drain. And then this is a gate valve over here that you'll use to control the flow and to quiet down your return. So to minimize the drain noise. And then this is your supply line. Guys, this is the drip tray that will sit on top of the sock filters. And I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Now, I know that everybody on the internet just loves to see these films pulled off. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a clean shot of that one. But let's see if we can salvage this. Ah! Well, almost. So we go down here. We put our sock filters Nice thing is that they put these diffuser plates and these are meant to actually reduce the amount of bubbles and will allow the sock filter to operate more efficiently because it creates a rainfall effect over the sock filter, increasing the usage of the sock filter. And this over here, it has a little convenient And what this is, it allows you to lift it up like that. So here you could put your filter pad to pre-filter for your sock filters, which is great. If you want to put in the uh, media like carbon or purigen, you can also lay it in here. And cleaning it up is as easily as lifting that up. So you could pre-filter the stuff that's going to your sock filter to make this even cleaning a lot more simple. And then the cover slides on like that. Look how clean and elegant that is. One of the things I want to point out that everywhere they put in little access holes for you to run your wires. So in this case, for your protein skimmer, you have that notch over here and you can run your protein skimmer wiring through here to give you cable management so you could run it in through the side. This is the ATO reservoir. And inside here, you get a nice lid. Also you get your attachment for your float valve, um, which is already pre-installed. And this is the elbow where you would put in the fill tube, which goes right there.
All right, guys. So I hope you, you enjoyed this video. You saw how quickly and easy you can actually set one of these tanks up. They pre-cut everything. They made it. So it's kind of putting like a Lego kit together that you don't have to go through a thousand steps. All of the pieces were ingeniously designed with proper cable management and salt creep control. That's one of the biggest things that they wanted to do is to get a lot of that salt creep under control. And you can see by the thoughtfulness of the design. I am super excited to have these here at the store. And please use the comment section below. Ask me all the questions, you know, comments. I'm sure you guys are gonna have a whole bunch of these questions for me. I'll be happy to answer them. As always, we appreciate your love and support. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And have a great day fish keeping, guys.